The world needs some people, some normal, everyday people with Jesus at the center of their lives. If we keep Christ at the center, it, it, it's the natural building block to where we go. It says in verse 5, for he issued his laws to Jacob, he gave his instructions to Israel. How do we keep Christ at the life? We have to hold to the absolute truth of God's word. We'll say that again. If we're going to keep Christ at the center, we have to hold to the absolute truth of God's word. God's word is truth. And it's time, if we're going to have Christ at the center, then we have to be looking at the world through a biblical lens, not looking at the Bible through our worldly lens. There's too many people who examine the Bible through the lens of their own personal opinions and their own personal in, uh, outcomes and their own personal experiences instead of taking the Bible and applying it to their lives, instead of looking at their lives through the lens of the Bible. It's what we call a biblical worldview. We measure everything else by what the Bible says, not by what we think the Bible says. And there's so many times, well, I don't really feel. I don't really think. And that's why we've got some Stupid stuff happening in the church. Because we, we we'll go back. Can I just tell you, the devil is not original. He's not a creative being. God was the creative one. He's the one who created heavens and earth. The devil's a copycat. It's the way it's always been from the beginning. So he's not creative. And the very first thing he said to Eve was, did God really say? And he's doing the same thing. He's come to the church. Did God really mean? Did the Bible really say? And so we've learned to twist scripture. I mean, even when he tested Jesus, well, if you throw yourself off the rock, it is written. He, he tried to twist scripture to Jesus. What did he do? Jesus, he could have twisted it and gone around. Well, that sounds close enough. No, he went back. It is written. Man should not live by bread alone. It is written. You should have no other gods before me. It is written. You should not test the Lord thy God. It had been very easy to make a bacon, egg, and cheeseburger sitting right there. He was hungry, but he stuck to the word of God. Beyond his comfort, beyond his opinion, beyond his wants and his needs, he stuck to the word of God. We have to hold to the absolute truth of God's word. Say, I don't like it. Then get saved and get over it. You need to hold to God's word. I get to leave after this, so it's okay. 